you got your new printer all assembled and you printed that cat that was supplied on the SD card. But now you want to print some of the models that you've been seeing other people print. Where do we get those models? How do we do it? It's actually a pretty simple process and is soon going to become second nature to you. And I'm going to show you how to get started. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay does more than printed circuit boards and assemblies. They also do CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Perhaps you've used your 3D printer to prototype your own design would like to have it mass produced through injection molding. Simply upload your CAD file to the PCBWay InstaQuote page for a lightning fast turnaround quote. Hobbyist or professional, PCBWay has you covered. I'm Bill. And this is Pushing Plastic. The first thing we'll need is some slicer software. Creality has supplied their slicer software on the SD card that came with your printer. But I recommend going to the Creality website and downloading it. That way, you know you have the latest and the greatest version. I'll post a link to the Creality download page in the video description. They have versions for both Windows and Mac. I'll be using the version for Windows in this video. So we'll go ahead and we'll expand this version out, the Windows version. And we'll click the link for the latest version. And then we'll save that to somewhere where we can easily find it. I'm going to save this into my downloads. And we'll click save. After you have it saved, you want to go to the location where you saved it and we'll begin the install. In my case, again, it's on the downloads page. And we'll simply double click it using File Explorer. I already have it installed, so I'm going to just cut out at this point rather than install it again. Not only is Creality Cloud accessible from your web browser, but you can also get it right from Creality Print by coming up here into the upper left hand corner and clicking on the icon that says Models. Well, it says Models after you highlight it. Just simply click there and you're into Creality Cloud and you can download these directly to your slicer. Now. We need to get some models. Where do we find those? There are a lot of websites with a lot of models out there free for downloading. For example, Thingiverse, Printables, Colts 3D, Thangs, Maker World, and Creality Cloud. And there are subscription services like STL Flix. Their goal is to be the Netflix of 3D printing. The first thing I'm going to print is a Benchy, that little tugboat. You've probably been seeing it all over the place. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you come up here to their search bar and you just type in Benchy, you're going to see there's a lot of Benchies. I can tell you that none of these are the Benchy you're looking for. These are all Benchies that have been modified just for fun. The one you want is actually 3D Benchy. Go ahead and Type that into the search bar, and here we have the original. You can go ahead and click on that, and that'll take us to all the details for the file. And we're going to see that there's actually 24 files. You can download them all, or you can go ahead and just download one by clicking over here on Files. And we want the original Benchy. So we're going to hit 3D Benchy. And we'll hit the little download icon. And we're going to save that somewhere where we can easily find it. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. So click save as. And I'm already at my downloads. I'm going to save it right there. And we'll load that into our slicer. Okay, so we got our bed sheet downloaded. Now we need to bring it into Creality Print and put it right here on our print bed. These gray, this gray square with the grid pattern that represents our our print bed. So let's go ahead and click on file 
an open file. And now we're going to navigate to where we have our Benchy stored. I saved it to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I see the Benchy. I can either double click it or single click it and then click open. I could drag and drop it in. I'm just going to single click and click open. And bam, just like that, it's in the center of our print bed. If any of these boxes open up, you can just click anywhere. That'll close them out. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure I'm on the right printer. In this case, the only printer I have, my Ender 3 V3 SE. And I got my PLA, and I'm at my uh, 0.2 millimeter nozzle. I'm going to go ahead and slice this. So down in the bottom right hand corner, click the big blue slice button. And there we are. Now we can move up and down and check things out by grabbing onto this bar. If we use our right mouse button, click and hold it, we can tilt up and down, we can turn it left or right. Uh, with our mouse wheel, we can scroll in, we can scroll out. Or if you want to, you can hold your middle mouse button down and drag and you can pan around so let's take a quick look at what we have here and you can see all the individual layer lines so I'm going to go down through the layers and there is what I'm looking for I'm looking for the infill and currently we're at 10% infill which is about right for this model but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to change that to 40. So I'm going back to prepare. I'm going to come over here onto edit where our dialog for our printer is. I'm going to click that button. I'm going to come over to infill. And it's set currently at 10%. I'm going to change that to 40% which is way too much for this print. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then I'm going to come back down and click on the big blue slice button again. And now we'll come down through the layers and look at our infill. And you can see we have a lot more infill. A lot more than we need for this model. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that back. We do that by going back to prepare. And we're going to click on the edit button once again. And now I can come up here and either change this to 10% by typing it in. Or I can come over here and click this little icon. That will restore it to the previous value. So I'll click on that. And bang, there it is. We're back to 10%. We'll need to resave. And now we're going to go ahead and re-slice. And I'm going to look just to make sure. It's always good to make sure. And there it is. We're back to 10% infill. So I'm going back. Actually, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to export this out so I can print it. I already have my SD card loaded into my computer so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click export to local and now I'm going to navigate to my SD card in my case it's removable disk D I'm going to click on that and I see the cat that was originally supplied with the printer and the SD card and I'm going to click save We'll get a message telling us that it's been saved and we can either hit OK or well, we can hit OK and it'll open the local folder or just cancel out of it. It never hurts to double check. So I'm going to click OK and I can see the Benchy is in fact there. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to single click on my removable disk drive. I'm actually I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit eject. A lot of people don't do this. 
it saves the cards. And now it's safe to remove the card from the computer and we'll move it over to the printer and we'll see how we did. That came out pretty good. I've said it before, there are some people out there that like to brag about having never printed a Benchy. There's no prize for that, but there is a lot you can learn about your printer by printing one. The 3D Benchy is a benchmark to see how well your printer is doing. That's why it's called the Benchy and not a tugboat. These don't float upright, by the way. They're too top heavy. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you did, hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. Mash that bell so you'll be alerted to new content in the future. Live your life one layer at a time, and if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing.